Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Today I'm going to be pairing up and fishing with Lewis from Texas Southpaw Fishing. And we're going to be hitting the Galveston area. A little bit of West Bay, ducking in a little bit here and there. Trying to fish a channel or two. Trying to hook up to some trout. So stay tuned. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully catch me hooking up. Got a little guy, I think. Uh, maybe. A little big, little bigger than I thought it would be. Was it originally? Let's see if we can get him up here. There we go. Let's see. Right here. Corner of the mouth. Just barely got him. DSL. He's going to be 15 and 3 quarters. DSL, I think that's chicken of the sea. Little guy. Nah. I'm gonna put him on ice. Yeah, it's about six, seven, six, six right here. Had that one fish on, that one speck caught. Just had another bite, so maybe they're gonna be a little deeper today. The water temp's about 67 degrees. As you can see, we're extremely foggy, but very calm wind so hopefully this fog will stick around and uh, we'll be able to find the trout kind of what I'm targeting today some more specs there we go got him on the bottom he's a small guy smaller than the last one no, actually this is a sand trout so like I was saying the mud is a little warmer, holds a lot of warmth, so a lot of times you will find the fish down low in the mud. So that's why this time of the year we try to target some deeper holes. It doesn't mean that that's where the fish are only going to be. It just gives you a good. Uh, it just gives you. It just gives you a good place to try to target, as well as fishing drains, fishing the banks. All the normal fishing drains, fishing drop-offs, all the normal places that you would normally an ordinary fish. Looking for some deep holes is always important this time of year. Oh, it's gonna be oh no, it doesn't be a sand trout. Speckler. Got a speckle trout right here. On that DSL again. About the same size. About the same size as that other that last one. He is barely touching 15, so we're gonna let this guy make it. Barely touching 15 inches slot, but too close to comfort. Wow. That is nice water clarity. Now that the fog's lifting a little bit, you can see it a little better. But yeah, right here kind of just curves down, drops down. Offers a little bit of a drop off, so kind of just raising it up, about letting it rise, letting it fall. And he smacked it. <clears throat> what we were hoping for. I thought he was going to be able to keep. Uh, it's 15, so you, I could have kept him, but I don't like him keeping him that close. Sometimes they'll, they'll shrink up a little bit on the ice. And um, I don't like keeping him that close. Sometimes they shrink up a, a little bit on the ice. There's another one right there. Yep. Oh, oh it came off. Second one right here. All right, so what I'm doing here is drifting. The one that's pushing me 
over the surface of the water allows you to cover and fish a lot more water and you want to cast the uh, you want to cast with the wind towards your back and I am targeting spec so I'm simply just bouncing it up and down up and down fishing water columns like that there we go that's gonna be a hopefully a decent one That's a nice one. <clears throat> Got him on a little buddy bait. That's a second hit, so. Oh yeah, just barely. Got him in the tip of the mouth. It's about as skin hook as you can get right there. <clears throat> see what he is. It's gonna be right at 15 inches. Again, just barely, just legal, but a little too close for comfort for myself. So, when I get him unhooked, there you go. All right, all right, guy. <laughs> get him unhooked and get him on his way. But yeah, that is drift fishing at its finest. Just casting ahead of you, ahead of your drift. You want to do it ahead of your drift because if you get hung up, you don't have to go back and get your hook, your lure. If you get hung up, you just drift over the top of it and hopefully be able to get it out. Let's do it some more. Hopefully, we can get another one. Ah! Too f almost too far. Then too short. Yep, there he is. See him? Oh, he's still there. Yep. <coughs> he's into it. <laughs> huh? He's into it. I will put my cork on, but I'm afraid to lose it. Oh! Oh, he's on this side. Yeah, that just happened. Alright everybody, so that's how you do it. I switched over using my phone right now. We just got some pretty bad weather that blew through. Wasn't supposed to be this bad. Ended up being some pretty nasty weather. So we got off the water pretty quick. End up the day with three slot specs. Real, just barely legal. And had a handful of dinks. But that was it, you know. It wasn't really too much going on. The weather looked great for a bite. You had the overcast, the fog. The wind kept shifting from south to southwest, so we had nice water movement, great water clarity. But it was just a weird bite. I mean, it really was. And sometimes it's just like that. The elements are in your favor, but they're just the fish just aren't cooperating. Towards the end, we started getting a lot of short bites, a lot of nips. I believe there were sand trout. But all in all, it was a great day. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back. Check out Lewis Southpaw, Texas Southpaw Fishing. Until next time. Hopefully you catch me hooking up.
Thanks.